This video is for Axe 8 users and we'll talk about how to load Austin Buddy's Naked Amps Tone Packs into the memory of your Axe 8 unit. Most of the principles here also can be applied to doing it for the Axe effects, but FractalBot might be the better way to do the Axe effects loading. If you own an Axe 8, you want to take the download file and unzip it and you'll get a folder like you can see here on the screen. The folder contains these files, and I'll open this a little bigger so you can see it, a little bigger resolution. There are some README files, you really should read those first, particularly this one that'll talk you through the preset pack, and there are a couple of other files in here, drive block, uh, how to use the uh, bonus preset uh, tone, and also a list of all the cabs and presets in the preset pack. Then what you'll see is you'll see here uh, four different bank files, each in its own folder, which is a little different than for the Axe FX version of this download. So let's talk about how to load these into your Axe 8. Open up Axe 8 Edit, and, as, uh, and this will be, so step one is unzip the file like you've done, and step two is start up Axe 8 Edit. Step three is going to be going to Tools and opening up Axe Manage Presets. And Axe Manage Presets, click the OK button. I'm going to clear these uh, because they're not there. It'll show like this. All the presets over here to the right are going to be presets that you will already have loaded into your Axe 8 prior to this. And it's always a good policy to back up all your presets before you load any new presets in there. Um, use FractalBot to do your backup. That's just a good practice. You can always go backwards that way. All right, so the next step is we've got this open up. We're going to go to the browser window here in Axe Manage Presets, and we're going to open a directory. It's the second drop-down item. And it's going to bring up this dialog box. Make sure that this box here, Include Bank Files When Scanning, is checked. And then we're going to pick a folder. Um, this, you want to point to those presets that we did here, and you want to pick one of the folders. Now, you'll notice for the Axe 8, this is different for the Axe FX folks, there are eight presets per bank and 16 banks in what would normally be one bank on an Axe FX. So you pick that folder, and you're going to see the presets show up, but they're going to be grayed out. You will not be able to pick any of these preset banks here, but that's okay. So when you see that, click open, and what's going to happen is it will find 128 presets in the bank, and then you click OK. So the next step is you have the presets now loaded over here on the left, and they are not in the memory of your unit, but they can be pulled into the memory of your unit over here to the right. So if you want to audition the presets before you... Um, uh, decide what you want to pull over. If you click the auto audition, auto audition button here, any preset you click where it gets underlined and bolded like that is sent to the memory of your Axe 8 unit. It's not saved there, it's in a buffer memory, and you can play that preset, just the scene one. Um, I believe you might be able to change it to scene two using the foot switch on the Axe 8 that you'll, if you look down. But each one of these you can now audition and listen to. Um, for any of the preset banks. So that's kind of a good way to sort of go through it. You can also use the scroll up and down keys on your keyboard in addition to the mouse. So let's say you love these 50s uh, presets here, 50s Tweed Champ all the way to 59 Baseman. If you click the first one, then hit the Shift key, and then click the last one that you want to pull, they'll all highlight in blue. Now you can pull and drag these over to your actual Axe 8 memory and drop them and notice that they now are lit up the numbers are lit up in red and there's a red dot by each one of them that says that yes it sees them there but it hasn't saved them yet but that's how you know that they are actually overriding existing preset slots in your Axe 8 all right so now all you need to do is click save like so and say OK, and it's going to actually take a little time and it will save each preset into that slot and now they're actually in your Axe 8 unit. You've pulled them over. By the way, Fractal wanted me to make sure that to tell you guys only to use FractalBot or Axe Manage presets to load these kinds of bank files and preset files. Do not use MIDI Aux or SysX Librarian or other third-party um, 
many librarians for this and it has to do with the way the system exclusive works. It won't necessarily work and you can mess things up. So this is the way to do it. I hope this is useful to you. I, what I usually do when I'm loading a bank is I'll come to the top, highlight the first one, go all the way to the bottom, and then I will literally drag them all over to the spots that I want to put them in. And you can see here that it did that for the entire bank all at once all the way to the end, which in this particular vintage and boutique bank is the fractal base amp. And if I click save, it would save all of those. So that's it. I hope that was useful to you and we're done.